In the night sky above a quiet mountain, a giant star glows with red intensity. This enormous sphere, named Betelgeuse, burns like fire in the constellation Orion. Seen beside other stars, it remains one of the largest objects ever viewed by astronomers. Through their powerful telescopes, this stellar monster amazes everyone with its unreal size. Even from a dry desert field, its size breaks every rule of logic. If the sun were replaced by Betelgeuse, its blazing edge would extend beyond Jupiter. In the sky, a small lake below would vanish as Earth, Venus, and Mars are swallowed whole. This burning giant could hide entire planets behind its glowing wall. Its cosmic cloud stretches so wide, it's easy to grasp how colossal it is even from space. Few stars in the universe reach this kind of massive scale, even through satellite lenses. But Betelgeuse isn't just large, it's close to stellar death, perched at the edge of its life. It stands at the end of a long life cycle, one that's taken millions of years under starry skies. Anytime now, it could explode into a supernova, making the day sky shine like noon. This won't be quiet, it will be a cosmic display, as bold as a galaxy's heartbeat. The death of Betelgeuse will be like nothing ever seen from any observatory on Earth. Amid the millions of stars, this red gem flickers atop the hilltop like a warning light. Its mystery goes deeper than its size, its light changes, frame by telescope frame. People have stared at this star for ages from fields, oceans, and snowy roads. Its brightness flickers like a candle on a windy night. Now it gains even more attention as it moves towards stellar ending. Betelgeuse is 764 times larger than the Sun, a number so wild, it stuns like a volcano roar. Even without a telescope, you can look above a forest and spot its glowing bulb. Now in its red supergiant phase, it burns like a torch in deep space. It spent millions of years fusing hydrogen in its glowing heart. But now that fuel is nearly gone, and gravity begins its pull inside the core. As gravity pulls inward, the outer shell pushes out, creating expansion across the stellar shore. This slow expansion is haunting, like a soft sigh frozen in a lens view. Drop this star into our solar system, and its radius would cover Mercury to Mars. Every planet from Earth inward would disappear into its fiery body. Looking at the night sky from a quiet village, its power becomes clear. Still, it's not the size that excites scientists, it's the possibility of a supernova. In their observatories, experts know Betelgeuse is unstable and could explode at any time. It may happen tomorrow, or it might take thousands of years, no one knows. This uncertainty fuels curiosity across the halls of astrophysics. Each night, they scan every flicker of this stellar giant through telescope glass. Every flash could be the final signal, the last beat of a dying star. Seen from a rooftop, that beat might look like a brief firework. But the story of Betelgeuse didn't start with this glow, it began millions of years ago. Back then, it was a blue giant, pulsing with energy in open space. It sent out heat and light racing across the galaxy like a flare above a canyon. Over time, it cooled and grew, entering the red giant stage with misty glow. This change comes from a fight inside, a battle between nuclear fusion, and gravity. Inside, hydrogen atoms fused into helium, creating energy seen by the naked eye. Fusion was its power, shining across starry plains and cosmic valleys. But as hydrogen runs low, gravity wins, and the core collapses. The outer layers fight back, expanding like a balloon in deep space air. Its reddish glow means it's cooler than the sun, yet far more massive in the star wind. While the sun burns yellow-white above oceans, Betelgeuse burns red over peaks. 
It sits on Orion's shoulder, a celestial beacon seen from a distant field. Its brightness isn't steady, it shifts, making it a variable star above the skyline. Some nights, it dims nearly to nothing, like a dying ember behind a mountain. Other nights, it blazes like a fire above a frozen lake. One of its oddest moments was the great dimming, witnessed from parks and towers. Its light dropped so low, people feared it was about to explode. Under the calm moon, it sparked global attention from scientists and kids alike. Hidden behind distant clouds, the mystery keeps shining in night space. Betelgeuse waits in silence, hiding secrets in its burning core. Like lava under a volcano, this star is full of silent power. The whole universe watches, and every telescope tracks its every twitch. Through the space window, we are seeing the last breath of a cosmic giant. Every pulse of light reminds us how small we are under the dark sky. You might be on a snowy road or a desert ridge, and still, you'll catch its faint glow. But what happens when this stellar giant finally dies? In its last seconds, the core shrinks, pulled by gravity like a vortex in a frozen ocean. The pressure builds beyond anything felt even in the deepest sea trench. Once it can't hold any more, it explodes outward, brighter than every star above the valley sky. This is called a Type II supernova, a term used in every astronomy lab. For days and even weeks, it may shine like a second sun over cities and mountains. You could be standing by a river at night, and the sky would shine like midday. Even people with no knowledge of stars will stop and stare from their rooftops or fields. Some might panic, not knowing this is a natural event, not a threat. Though dramatic, this supernova won't hurt Earth, just add color to the night sky. At a distance of 640 light years, we get both safety and a front row seat from hilltops. What comes next could be more mysterious, a neutron star or a black hole. If the leftover core is small, it becomes a neutron star, dense and spinning in the skyline. A teaspoon of that matter would weigh as much as a mountain range. If it's heavier, though, it becomes a black hole, swallowing all light like a cave with no exit. We may never see it again, just feel it twist the stellar light near a planet. Astronomers will use the James Webb Space Telescope to track what happens above the valley. Satellites will scan radio waves, and detectors will sense particles deep underground. All this from one bright dot in the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse sits like a jewel on Orion's shoulder, glowing in the stardust wind. This spot has been watched since ancient days by shepherds and philosophers under quiet hills. The stars of Orion are known everywhere, even seen through city light pollution. When Betelgeuse explodes, Orion will look unbalanced in the glowing night air. It will seem like one shoulder's on fire, while the other waits in the cold space wind. Some will call it a prophecy. Others, a miracle above distant skies. Whatever it is, people will remember the night a star died. For students, it will enter books and lessons under glowing planetarium domes. For scientists, it will offer new data to test theories of gravity and stellar death. For dreamers, it will be a moment of magic, proving we live in a wonderful universe. Just one star, hundreds of light years away, can change how we see the world. What makes Betelgeuse special isn't just its explosion, but what it says about time. The light we see left that star 640 years ago, long before cars or skyscrapers. We're not seeing it as it is, but as it was when knights walked castle courts. It may already be gone, and the news is still racing through the galaxy sea. This delay is what makes space so strange, a timeline lagging like a slow echo. Every signal from Betelgeuse, 
light, neutrinos, radiation, helps us write history. What if this happens during your lifetime? Imagine looking at your balcony and seeing a fireball that wasn't there the night before. Social media, newsrooms, and classrooms will light up with talk of the star that died. It'll be seen from island beaches, snowy towns, and forest clearings. We all will look up and remember, we share one sky. The supernova will send shockwaves into nearby gas clouds, creating new stars. This is the beauty of it all, death, followed by cosmic rebirth, like life from a volcanic field. The gas thrown into space will travel into nebulas, mixing with stardust near galactic walls. Over time, this dust will pull together under gravity, and form new solar systems. Each one could contain planets, maybe even life, orbiting under a new sun. All of that from one star's death, its last act birthing something wonderful. It's a reminder that nothing in the universe is wasted, not even destruction. One day, someone might stand on a new planet, under a sky lit by a star born from Betelgeuse. They'll look up and wonder where that light began, never knowing it came from our skyline today. We live in a time of tools and knowledge, able to watch this happen in real time. The signals will travel through optical sensors, infrared arrays, and particle fields. We will have data, yes, but we'll also have wonder. That's what Betelgeuse gives us most, a reminder of how small, yet lucky, we are, we get to witness the life and death of stars from our balconies, our rooftops, our canyons. So next time you see that red dot glowing on Orion's shoulder, stop. Take a breath under the stars, and remember what you're really seeing. Not just a star, but a story still being told across the cosmic sea. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.